Hey, so I thought I'd do a little video on some pickups that I didn't include in my last video. I actually forgot about them, so I thought I'd cover them now. Um, I went to the dollar store again. I got a painted house from the Hallmark Hall of Fame series. I'm corny. I like Hallmark movies. I also got Crossroads, <clears throat> The Path to Forgiveness. I don't rem I don't remember if I included that in my last video, but it's about a family that gets hit by a teen who's street racing, and the husband and his teenage son are all that's left. So, really heavy for a Hallmark movie, kind of different, and allegedly based on a true story. Um, I also got A Rational Man, directed by Woody Allen, starring Joaquin Phoenix, Emma Stone, Parker Posey. Um, that was for $2, so I thought, you know, why not? I got the movie Troy from like 2004, I think. Brad Pitt, Eric Bana, Orlando Bloom. I've actually never seen this movie. Um, I remember seeing previews for it way back in the day, but I'm usually a fan of epics and whatnot. So I thought, why not? Uh, last week I also got the Strangers and The Strangers Part 2, Pray at Night. I remember seeing The Strangers in theaters way back in 2008. I was in my 20s. It was real hot, I remember, when I watched it with my friend from college. And overall, we liked it. It's about a couple um, who, after a wedding go to the family cabin. They get a strange knock on the door. And it goes on from there. Um, it's shot kind of like a documentary. Really creepy and eerie. Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman play the couple. They're on the verge of breaking up. So there's already tension in the air. Um... The musical score is by Tom and Andy. Uh, like I said, I enjoy the movie. I mean, the characters do make dumb decisions. But given the fact that they're ordinary people um, facing intruders in a home invasion, it's not that unrealistic. Um, the home invasion genre is kind of a favorite of mine. But it's also the type of genre that scares me a lot because, you know, it's reality. You know, it could happen. Um, you know, it's not Freddy Krueger or Jason chasing you with a machete. It's a home invasion. You know, it could happen. So I, I'm thinking of saving them until Halloween to watch them. The Strangers Part 2, Pray at Night. I remember several years ago... It was on the IMDb page in development for years and years. So I was totally psyched when it finally was shot and made uh, part two, similar to part one, except it deals with two teenagers and their parents moving to a trailer park. The daughter is eventually going to go to like a prep school type place because she's misbehaving. So right off the bat, I think it definitely ups the ante in the action and the gore. It definitely takes some risks. Um, Bailey Madison is a really good actress. She plays the teen daughter. Um, 
Christina Hendricks plays the mom, who I really like. I like her as an actress. And like I said, it ups the ante more than part one, I think. There's bigger risks involved. There's more action. I love the way it's shot and filmed. Um, I love the way the strangers, the killers, basically use vintage music to taunt their victims like they did in part one. Um, overall, I just really enjoy the two movies. I also got the movie Creep Show 2 from Walmart. Um, I also love Creep Show Part 1, but I was like, oh, Part 2, you know, might as well snatch it up. It's in the bargain bin. Um, I like Part 2 on its own terms, even though it might not be as good as Part 1. I still think it's pretty decent. Um, again, I did watch the Creep Show television series that's on AMC On Demand. Like I said before, it's a mixed bag, and I think... Yeah, I think it got a third season, and season two is already in the can, so I guess it depends when AMC is going to air it. I think both seasons are on Shudder. I don't have Shudder, but it's another streaming service. So I just thought I'd make up another video while I have this quiet time. Um, but I've been doing okay. Still going to my psoriasis treatments and whatnot. And I'm going to be getting my blood tested for my diabetes soon. Next week, actually, on Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm hoping my blood work isn't too trash. Because I did stress eat during the pandemic. I eat a lot of sweets and things I shouldn't have. And that's all going to show up in the blood work for the past couple months. So... Hopefully my blood sugar and whatnot and cholesterol isn't too bad. So we'll see. And that's it for now. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, let me know. I appreciate it. Bye. Until next time.